What's up guys, I'm back. Uh, this is a Hawk Talk to talk about something that's on eBay that caught my eye. Um, as you know, one of the rarest, uh, I did do a video on rare PS3 games not too long ago, and I do plan on doing another one very soon, but uh, there was something that came up on eBay not too long ago that actually caught my eye. Um, as I was talking about the rarest games for PS3, I couldn't happen to mention that there was a uh, the rarest game in existence, as most people know the story about it, and I'm here to kind of reiterate the story about it. Um, it was it's a game called NBA Elite 11. Not a lot of people know about this game because it was kind of just one of those one and done, gone kind of things. Um, if you don't know anything about it, um, here I have the picture of the one on eBay right here. Um, most people will not recognize that because I, I know a couple of people that play NBA. Um, I'm not one of those people I suck at basketball games. I don't think I've been good at a basketball game since like NBA 2K3 um, <clears throat> or 2003, whatever, NBA Live 2003, whatever. But the thing was here, in my opinion, that, you know, this was one of the rarest games. If you don't know the story, uh, it was a game that was put together. It was There was copies that were sent out, and then they found out that the game was superbly glitched, like superbly. Um, so basically what happened was, uh, the game was kind of just shuttered and shut down because they didn't have enough money to fix it, but GameStops were throwing away their, um, their copies of this game, you know, because it was basically broken. And one guy, a GameStop employee, one day decided to take a box of these games. I don't know, no one knows how many. I don't remember where it was either. It's, it's a very lucrative story. Uh, no one really knows, but from what I've heard, someone took a box of these games and released them onto the internet, and then someone else found a bunch of cases for the game, and those are soaring. This is just the case of the game, and he's asking $15,000 for it. Um, I've never actually played the game. I've seen footage of the game. It does look like it was really glitchy. I think it's like that Ashes Cricket 2011 game. Not a lot of people, you know, know about that one, because it was basically shown to people, and then it was, like, brought back because no one really uh, wanted to play a glitchy piece of shit. But, um, yeah, it's listed on eBay as Dumbass Rare. <laughs> There's an Xbox 360 one as well for $12,000. Uh, but I did want to point out that the big uh, fish to fry here was that a couple days ago, um, there was an NBA Elite PS3 that was actually sealed and graded at an 8.5. And this one was actually had a game in it. This is one of the five known in existence that's sealed that actually comes with a copy of the game. Um, I would, from the picture that I'm seeing, it's, it was sold by a person named Bowling Jesus, which is a cool, cool enough name. But the, the thing about this is that, um, he obviously bought it from someone who didn't know what they had, and I feel very bad for that person. Because I'll show you the picture here. As you can see in the corner, there is a, uh, a sticker that says fifty nine ninety five, you know, uh, and that to me right there thinks that someone was like, oh, this is just a brand new basketball game. I could probably get sixty bucks for it, and I'm sure the guy who bought this thought that it was probably the best sixty bucks that he ever spent. Uh, I tried to get in contact with him to ask him like where he got it, what the story is. If I ever do get into contact with him about the um, the story, that I will definitely let you know. Uh, but th this is just an incredible find. Uh, as most people know, it has uh, NBA star Kevin Durant when he played th for the Thunder on the front. Uh, this was not... This was an EA game. I don't know what I'm talking about. This was a, uh, one that they tried to launch, like a new kind of... Th I think this was like their launch right before they no longer started making basketball games. So it was like their last opportunity to try and make a basketball game. Because as you know, NBA used to, I'm sorry, EA used to make NBA games, but they don't anymore because they lost the licensing and 2K now makes them, and I believe they've been making them since like 2K11, I believe, yeah, since 11, because that's when 2K came out and this is when they tried to, you know, make one last NBA game before they kind of, uh, you know, fell out of production for that. So I thought it was really cool that this actually showed up because it doesn't show up very often. Um, this one was located in Bemdigi. Minnesota, so I don't know how it got all the way up there. I don't believe that was the town that um, the guy took him from a GameStop. Uh, but I, I just thought the story was cool, and I thought I'd share it with you. I know I haven't been on a lot, but that was one that I was kind of looking forward to. Um, if I do get in contact with him, I'd love to know the story for how he got this. I thought it was really cool. Um, so, 
yeah. All right, guys. That has been my Hawk Talk for the day. I will see you guys hopefully soon. Um, I'll be updating. I'll be putting this on the internet at uh, at work on my phone. So hopefully we'll have that done by then. And enjoy the rest of the day. And I'll try to get some more videos done in the meantime. See you guys later.